Welcome back to Southwest Yard and Garden. I'm John White. Today we're going to be taking some letters from the mailbag and our first question is what can I plant in this time of year? And this is from John in Las Cruces. And what we're going to be looking at is cool season varieties right now this time of year because we're still uh, a few weeks, um, maybe even a couple months off of our last frost date. Uh, here in the southern part of the state, we're looking at somewhere around August, I mean, excuse me, April 1st. And um, uh, so we still have a little bit of time. And some of the, I just kind of picked a little bit of a variety of stuff here. But uh, if you look at some of the vegetables as being leafy greens, um, grown more for the green on them actually than the fruit, more than likely those will be a cool season vegetable. So if you want to look uh, for something that, that has more green on it, and then the sure way is to go to the back of the package, and uh, all the packages are um, have several different um, types of information on them. One is they should be produced for the 2002 year, and this one's kind of printed on very lightly, but you can see the 2002 lot 91. And so that's telling you that this is good seed, current seed. And then there's a lot of information here about that particular type of plant. And here we're looking at radishes. And so there's a map of the United States. You can kind of see where New Mexico is on it. And that color coincides over here to when you plant. So we're looking at March on here, uh, which um, here we can actually um, get by by a late February planting and uh, radishes will do quite well in this area. So again, checking those seed packs to find um, what time of year those are to be planted at, and they'll say something about the plant being a cool season plant, and that's what we want to shoot for. So again, these are uh, what we want to look at for a uh, cool season planting at this time of year. Okay, letter number two is from Jim, and. Uh, Jim is in Tier C and he's asking, he's kind of new to the area and has gone to the nurseries and has found some plants like Lantana that look real good in the nursery, but he's worried about bringing them outside into full exposure here during the early part of spring, late winter in the Las Cruces area. So uh, Jim, what you're probably seeing, and I went by one of the nurseries and this is a uh, Lantana, and Lantana loves the heat. It does quite well in the heat but it does not like cold, and matter of fact, it can have some frost damage on it under freezing type temperatures. So uh, this plant is being uh, probably forced to grow inside in a greenhouse area where it's getting warmth and is gonna be filled out nice uh, when our last uh, frost date comes and you can start putting these out. But uh, when you're in a nursery, you do wanna make sure that you check with the uh, nursery or garden center personnel to make sure that the plant is adaptable to going outside at this time of year because a lot of times even though they're cold hardy plants if they're kept inside a greenhouse situation um, they can be kept artificially warm and uh, put new growth on and when they go outside you may have a 30 40 degree drop in temperature and can do quite a bit of damage to them so uh, plants need to be acclimated to the area and acclimated to the current temperatures so uh, make sure the plants that you get are acclimated uh, to those outside temperatures, so check with your nursery personnel. Okay, our third letter is from Karen, and Karen is here in Las Cruces, and she wants to know whether she should start her plants for the spring, either by seed or by transplant. And Karen, one of the things about seed is that uh, you can start your plants from seed, and again, we've talked about uh, seed packets, and they give you a lot of information on it, and one of the information, or part of the information on the back is uh, what kind of spacings and stuff to plant the plant at and how long it takes the plant to, to grow in days um, to germination. And this one is about 10 to 14 days to germination from seed. So uh, you're looking at a couple weeks of just waiting for the seed to come up and then again letting the plant grow for a few weeks. So it may be uh, 8 to 12 weeks before this particular broccoli uh, might even have a chance of putting any edible uh, heads on it. So if you're using a transplant, and this is Brussels sprouts, which is uh, closely related to broccoli, but um, Brussels sprouts um, and the use of a transplant usually gives you a jump of somewhere about six to eight weeks on the season. So this plant already has a root system on it, 
and uh, the plant is growing, has got growth on it, so you've already got that jump on the season. So if you don't have the room to start seeds with, then the transplant is a better way to go, a little bit more expensive, but it is putting you into production right away. So I would go with transplants if time and space is a constraint.